Hey friends, today we're doing some drills, drills and more drills. I'm showing you here a quick rundown of what we're going to be doing. It's a more of an upbeat kind of vibes, meaning it's not meant for you to relax, but really working on our muscles today as much as we can. This is the last day or day 5 of our Scoliosis Strengthening Beginner Series. I actually started filming this inside, but the black lines behind me I think is hard to see my form. And the husband was a little bit distracting. So I basically repeated the whole sequence again outside, which made me sore for 3 days. Anyhow, I don't want you to overwork your muscles in the beginning, so we're gonna break this whole class in 4 weeks, which I will have a corresponding timestamps below of week 1 up to week 4, so you can easily teleport to the weekly class. Make sure to warm up your upper body and lower body first by clicking here. Step 1 and Step 2. Pause this video right now and come back later. Welcome back to week 1. Our journey to Lalasana begins. Starting with hero pose, so you're gonna place your shins on top of the mat like this. Palms on the ground, fingertips in line with your knees, or find that comfortable position for you. And we're gonna lift one knee at a time, starting with our left knee and combining with box breathing method. So inhaling as we lift one knee up as high as you can, holding that breath and exhale down. Hold that breath again, and then we're gonna do it together. Left knee first in three, two, and one. Inhale, left knee up, hold your breath, hold it, exhale down. Hold your breath again, hold it here. Inhale, right leg up. Hold your breath and really compressing your abs. Exhale down. Hold your breath again. Inhale, left knee up. Really lift it as high as you can. Hold your breath here. And exhale, release. Hold your breath again, hold it. Ready, inhale, right knee up. Hold your breath, hold it, exhale down. Hold the breath again, hold it. Inhale, left knee up, hold your breath. You got this guys. Exhale, release. Hold your breath again, we got a few more guys. Ready, inhale, right knee up, hold your breath, and release. Hold your breath again. Inhale, left knee up, hold your breath, hold it, and release. Hold your breath again, hold it. Alright, inhale, right knee up, hold your breath again, exhale, release. Hold your breath and this is our last set, friends. Inhale, left knee up, hold your breath. Exhale, down. Hold your breath again. Right knee up. Hold your breath. And exhale, release. Good job! You can relax for a little bit and I'll give you a quick water break. The next one is our last drill for the day or for this week. It's our journey to crow pose. So lay your back on the mat, knee to chest, then lift your legs up. Hands up and fold your palms this way facing up. Then bend both your knees, place it outside on the sides of your elbows. Then slowly lift your head up. Ta-da! This is your upside down crow pose. Then you'll straighten out your legs as you relax your neck back and then compress them again. We will do this together with box breathing method. Okay, whenever you're ready, three, two, and one. Starting with straight legs, you're gonna inhale knee to chest. Hold your breath as you compress your abs. Exhale, straighten your legs, relax your neck. Hold your breath. Inhale, compress. Hold it, hold it. And exhale, release. Relax your neck, hold your breath. Inhale, compress. Hold your breath, hold it. And exhale, release. Hold your breath again. Inhale, compress. Hold it. And exhale, release. Hold your breath again. Inhale, knee to chest, hold your breath, hold it, exhale down, hold your breath, and inhale again, hold your breath, and release, hold your breath again, hold it, inhale, compress, 
hold it and relax hold your breath and that's it for a week one remember consistency is key and every little thing you do adds up so i'll see you next week otherwise you can also just take a quick water break and do week two if you're up for more coming up next Welcome to week 2 of our drills, drills, and more drills! Don't forget, warm up first if this is a new day for you. Okay, whenever you're ready, starting with all fours position. Rotating one knee so you're facing sideways and extending one leg back. Just like this, find your balance. You can also place a cushion for your knee if this hurts. Make sure you're stable here and then placing one hand onto the mat with your other hand extended. This is called the gate pose. We're actually gonna do some side crunches here so find your stable position and slowly lift that extended leg and see how high you can go by working on your glute muscles this way. Drop your leg. Okay, we're gonna combine it with box breathing. Ready? In three, two, and one, inhale, lift your leg up, hold your breath here. Exhale down, hold your breath. Inhale, lift up, hold your breath again. Four, three, two, one, exhale down. Hold it, four, three, two, one, inhale, lift up. Hold your breath. And exhale down. Hold your breath again. Inhale, lift up. Hold your breath. You got this, guys. Exhale down. Now hold your breath again here. Hold it. Inhale, lift up. Hold your breath. And exhale down. Good job, friends. Now we're going to combine it with crunches, but no need for box breathing. Ready? Lift your leg up and crunch that side ab. Move with control. I like to inhale as I extend. Don't drop your leg. And exhale as I crunch. But do what works for you. To extend and crunch. Lengthen and crunch. Just move with control. Okay, last one. Great job, friends. You'll feel your glutes and thighs sore tomorrow. <laughs> Switching sides here. Or maybe you need a quick water break. Because that burns. But whenever you're ready, just find your stable position in your gate pose. Alright, ready? In 3, 2, 1. Inhale, lift your leg up. Hold your breath. And exhale, down. Hold your breath again. Inhale, lift up. Hold your breath. Hold it. Exhale, down. Hold your breath again. Inhale, lift up, hold it, hold it, you got this. Exhale down, hold your breath again. Inhale, lift up, hold it, four, three, two, one. Exhale down, In four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift up, four, three, two, one. Exhale down, you got this guys. Inhale, lift up, hold your breath, and exhale down. Great job, friends! Okay, now we're going to add crunches. So inhale as you lift up, and exhale as you crunch, or do what works for you. Just move with control and really feel each muscle moving. Lengthen and crunch. Don't hold your breath. Last one. Woohoo! Good job! Okay, next is our journey to Lulasana, but I'm gonna give you a quick water break right now. Okay, this time around, we're gonna hold both knees up by pressing the tops of your feet onto the mat. So I'm gonna show you one set, and then you're gonna follow along. I'm gonna inhale lifting up, holding the breath, and exhaling down. Holding the breath again. And I also like to keep my torso upright as I hold my breath for a reset. Ready? In three, two, one. Inhale, lift up, hold your breath, exhale down, hold your breath again, inhale, lift up, squeeze the abs, exhale down, 
hold your breath again, relax your muscles. Inhale, lift up, hold your breath as you squeeze the abs. Exhale down, hold your breath, relax the muscles. Inhale, lift up, hold it, hold it. Exhale down, hold it again. Inhale, lift up, really tighten your abs. And exhale down, hold your breath again. Inhale, lift up, hold your breath, hold it, hold it. Exhale down. Almost there. Inhale, lift up, hold your breath. And exhale down. Yay! Lulasana journey done for today. Now we're gonna transition to crow pose, but I'm gonna give you a quick water break again because I don't want you to curse me. <laughs> for a journey to crow pose, we are gonna do the same upside down or supine crow with box breathing technique until week three. The goal is for you to get used to the compression process as you build core strength with Lulasana. Together, it should help you with crow pose. Ready? Three, two, one. Inhale, extend. Hold your breath. Exhale, squeeze. Hold your breath here. Hold it. Inhale, extend. Hold your breath. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale, extend. Hold your breath. Exhale, lift your head and compress. Hold your breath again. Inhale, legs up. Hold your breath. We got two more sets. Exhale, compress, lift your head. Inhale, straight up, hold your breath. Exhale, compress, hold your breath. Inhale, lift up, hold your breath. Exhale, compress, yeah, tighten the abs. One more, inhale, legs up, and relax. <laughs> Yay! Good job! And that's it for week two. I'll see you next week. Or if you'd like to continue and you feel like a superman or superwoman, <laughs> then week three is coming up next. Welcome to week three of our drills, drills, and more drills. If this is another day for you, remember, warm up first. Starting with Warrior 3 pose, we're going to work on our balance, posture, and full body coordination. Try this with me now by extending your left leg back, upper body forward, forming that T shape. And for now, keep your hands on the sides of your thighs or lower butt cheeks so it's easier for you to find that horizontal line. Dropping the back leg with control and doing the other side. Okay, let's do the right leg together with box breathing method. So lifting that right leg up, forming the T shape, and holding your breath here in this T position. Dropping the leg as you exhale. Okay, ready? In three, two, one. Inhale, lift the leg up. Form a T shape, warrior three. Hold your breath here. Exhale, drop your leg. Back to standing position. Hold your breath. Inhale, other leg up. Warrior three. Hold your breath. This is so good for strengthening our back muscles for scolio. And down. Hold your breath. It also strengthens the shoulders, hamstrings, calves, and ankles. Inhale, left leg up. Hold it. Get your strength from your core. And drop the leg back down. Hold your breath. Inhale, lift up. T-shape. Focus. I also like my back foot flexed. And leg down. Hold your breath. Stand tall. Inhale, lift the other leg up. Hold your breath, and you can also bend your standing knee if that feels better for you. And leg down. Hold your breath, stand tall. Inhale, other leg up. I also like to play bending my knee and straightening for better strength and stability. Okay, back to center. Hold your breath here. Inhale, lift up. Focus. You got this, friends. And exhale down. Hold it. Inhale, lift up again. Hold your breath. Hold it. Exhale down. Hold your breath. Few more, guys. Inhale, lift up. Hold your breath. Hold it. 
and down. Hold your breath. Inhale, lift up. Hold your breath again. Hold it. Exhale down. Hold your breath for the last time. Alright, that's it for that. This time, I want you to go ahead and do a full warrior three by extending your arms forward. So do this with me now. See if you can stretch your arms forward parallel to the floor. Hold this position and try if you can bend your standing knee. Just a quick bend and back up. So holding this position as you bend and straighten it out. Alright, good job. Back to center and we're gonna do that on the other leg. Lift the other leg up. Extend or stretch your arms forward. You can also interlace your fingers if that feels better for you. Hold it, hold it, bend and straighten it out. Bend the knee and straight. Bend it and straight. Good job! Back to center and it's time for, yep, water break! Okay, next is our journey to Lolasana. This time, we're gonna do a baby lift of both legs. Are you excited? Cause I am! Okay, whenever you're ready, in 3, 2, 1, inhale, baby lift. Hold your breath if you can. And exhale down. You don't really need to do box breathing at this point, but see what feels good for your body. Inhale, lift up again. So just do it over and over at your own pace until you hear the magical sound. I'd like you to play with your own breath this time. You can also hold your breath for longer periods than 4 seconds. And sometimes I like to exhale while I'm lifted. So it really depends and hopefully by this time, you're probably more aware of your movements with your breath. I hope because that's our goal. Lift up. Try to see and hold that lifted. And down. Inhale, lift up again. Hold it. Hold that baby lolasana. And down. Inhale, lift up. This is our last. Really give it a long hold for your last one. Before the water break, do this with me. Just baby pulses, lifting up and down. Alright friends, now it's time for our journey to crow pose. So lay on your back. Same thing, we're gonna do the upside down or supine crow. But this time, I'd like you to play with your own breath. Your muscle memory will remember everything without your conscious mind even knowing. So hopefully, by the time you try this crow pose next week, you'll nail it. So let's see how this goes. Placing your knees on both sides of your arms, and extending, and then crunching. So try to see or play with your breath here. Extend your legs out. Crunch back in. Lift your head. Hold it. Hold the position. Extend again. Relax and drop your head. And then crunch. Lift your head as you crunch. Hold it. And release. Straighten your legs. Crunch back in. Really crunch the abs and lift your head. Hold it. And release. Find your breath as you crunch here. Hold that position. And release. Straighten your legs. We got a few more here. Crunch the abs. Lift your head. And straighten your legs. Release. Alright. One more. Crunch it. Crunch it. Hold. And release. All right, you're done for week three. Yeah! Next is our week four, and if you're up for it, I'll give you a quick water break. Week four of our last drills, drills, and more drills. If this is a new day for you, remember to warm up first. Okay. 
Okay, find your comfortable spot and I'm gonna meet you in Downward Facing Dog. Whenever you're ready, find your stable position and we're gonna start lifting our right leg up. And from here, you're gonna slowly bring your knee to your chest with control. Then squeeze your abs. From here, you will rotate the balls of your back foot to side plank position with right leg extended in front of you. Just like this, and right hand raised. You will hold this position and then you're gonna go back to knee to chest and really squeezing your core. So we're gonna do this back and forth until you hear the magical sound. Follow your own breath. The key here is for you not to drop your lifted leg as you do these transitions. So extending your leg forward and holding this position and then transitioning as you bring it knee to chest without dropping the leg. Just breathe the pain and move slowly with control. The slower the better. Great job friends, that was not easy. <laughs> Switching legs, but you don't need to move your position. I'm just facing the opposite side so you can see better. And whenever you're ready, measure your distance from downward dog, moving to plank, and then back to downward dog. Lifting that left leg up, slowly bending the knee, bringing it to your chest with control, transitioning to side plank, and straightening that left leg in front of you. Left hand raised, and hold it, and then squeezing again, knee to chest. Move with control. This is really important. Don't drop that left leg. Find your balance. A few more sets. Last one, extend your leg out, hold it, and relax, yay! And a quick water break. Are you ready for a journey to Lolasana? This last week, we will do three sets of all the things we did from week one up to three. And you can follow along in the first try so you get a feel of it. Starting with hero pose, ready in three, two, and one. Lifting your right knee first. Good. And then your left knee. Good job. Then both knees with the tops of your feet on the mat. And a baby lift. Lastly, a full-on lift with the longest hold. Squeeze the abs. Hold it. Hold it. And down. Woo! Good job. We're going to do two more sets of this. Ready? Right knee up. Good. Left knee up. Good job. Both knees. Squeeze the abs. And a baby lift. Good. Lastly, full on lift. Tighten the abs. Hold it. Hold it. And down. Woohoo! Last one, friends. Ready? Lift your right knee up. Then your left knee. Good job. Both knees. Baby lift. And full on lift. Really round the back and kiss your knees if you can. Hold it. And down. Great job, friends. I'm so happy you made it. I want to know if this really helped you in the comments. So leave it down below. Get your butt up. And next is our journey to crow pose. We're just going to be doing some crow taps like this. So lifting both knees up and down. Just place your knees right above the elbows. And your elbows are stacked right on top of your wrists. Ready in three, two, one. Lean forward, lift up and down. Up and down. Just continue doing it until you hear the magical sound. Gaze down on the mat and just move your knee joints. Everything else should be steady. Keep your core tight as you breathe. Great job!
jump just a quick rest and then i want you to try next if you can bring your knees up higher than your elbows so right below your armpits hopefully our drills from week one to three help with this position and this could hurt your triceps in the beginning but if you grip harder with your palms and finger joints it will help to really engage your triceps and the key to holding it for long is your breath so practice with your breathing and yay! Great job friends! I'm so happy you finished this with me! <laughs> and if you want me to release more free series, then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you are happy and in pain. Share the pain with your friends and family. Don't forget to ring the bell because I have more healthy videos coming your way. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye!